I have a secret. When my mother-in-law found out about it, her attitude toward me flipped upside down. Hey, Shelly, what? While the family enjoyed their lunch, I whispered to my mother-in-law's ear, "That's the expensive one you told me about earlier. Is it really good?" As soon as I mentioned, Grrr. Shelly made a gagging sound and passed out. I'm Nancy, 28 years old. I work as a product developer in a cosmetic company. I met my husband, Eddie, through a mutual friend. It's not like I never had boyfriends before, but I have a secret. When Eddie came to know about it, he remained the same—a kind boyfriend. His family consists of him, his parents, and his younger sister Kim, who lives in another state. They are all nice people, but one incident shatters the harmonious relationship I have with Shelly. They were a tight-knit family who really enjoyed the holiday together, and of course, his sister always came back for it, no matter what. My parents say they would really love to have us there. What do you want to do? I was happy to join them, as Shelly was like my own mother, and we didn't have a problem then. Of course, I would love to. I answered enthusiastically. Great. I'll tell them we're coming. It's the first time you're staying at my parents' house. I thought, "Oops," to this nonchalant comment, but I couldn't tell him. I suddenly changed my mind. I said to myself, "It'll be okay." When we arrived at Eddie's parents, his sister was already back, and they welcomed us cheerfully. While we were catching up and relaxing in the living room, Nancy, darling, go ahead and freshen up if you'd like. Shelley prompted me with a fresh towel, to which I made up my mind. Thank you for letting me take the shower. I found Shelley washing dishes in the kitchen. Of course. Are you feeling? What the? She turned to see me and froze. Nancy? Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. I replied awkwardly. She frowned and walked out of the kitchen. I was disappointed by her reaction and went to find Eddie, who was playing cards with his dad and sister. Hey, hun, you want to join us? I keep losing. Seeing Eddie and me talking as usual, Eddie's dad and sister looked a little surprised. You look different without your makeup. Your skin is like a baby. Kim gave me a compliment. She works in cosmetics and takes good care of herself, unlike you. Eddie's dad teased her. We enjoyed playing cards after that. I was still a little bothered by Shelley's reaction, but I tried to shrug it off. However, my bad feeling came true, and this incident turned her into a malicious mother-in-law who tormented me. I woke up earlier than usual and joined her in the kitchen the next morning. She was already preparing breakfast, and as soon as she saw me, "You're late!" She yelled at me. I was blown away by her sudden change. Shelly, I knew, would have been like, "Listen, Nancy, darling, I want to tell you something." We would have cooked together while we gossiped and laughed, but it was complete silence then. In a very awkward situation, she finally opened her mouth. You've been hiding your true self from me. You are totally different person without makeup. I couldn't even explain myself and kept quiet. This was my secret, or more like a trauma I had been carrying. I had kind of a bland face, and even my parents used to say, "Your face is just boring, no character." They sighed heavily, looking at my face, and repeated it over and over to me. 
I never got bullied because of my face, but I didn't like the way I looked when I was small. When I became a teenager and my friends started wearing makeup, I joined the trend. When some colors were added to my bland face, I saw a different person in the mirror and regained self confidence. The reason I chose my career was simple I liked makeup. I was interested in the products, so instead of being a makeup advisor, I was proud to become a developer. But the person with makeup was just a disguise. Once I met a guy and was told, Holy crap, you're a scam! When he saw the real me, and he was shocked and dumped me. Looking back on it, I didn't need such a vile man. But at that time, I was quite devastated. On the contrary, Eddie was the total opposite. The reaction I got from him was, Wow, you're so white, your skin is like porcelain. To which I asked sheepishly, Aren't you surprised to see me without makeup? Huh? Why? I like you with or without it. I was beyond happy to hear his kind words that I cried. Thank you, sweetheart. There was no certain look that everyone liked, so I promised myself to treasure the people who liked me as I was. Once I was able to change the way I thought, I was released from the curse that I had been carrying. But the comment of Shelley brought back the old demon that was locked inside of me. What if you have a baby? It's a shame if the baby came out looking like you. She uttered such a rude thing. I don't mean to hide anything about me from you. Would you have been happy if I mentioned to you my face looks different without makeup when we first met? I am not saying that, but I feel I've been cheated. You should put yourself in my shoes. She even told me to sympathize with her. I was skeptical of her personality. I used to adore her more than my own mother, but it was so disappointing to see her true nature. We prepared breakfast in silence after that. She acted normal in front of the family. When we were watching TV, Kim said, I like this actress. You'll look a bit like her, Nancy. Her comment was a ray of sunshine to my gloomy morning. I like the actress too, so I was feeling happy. But then, Shelley, who was sitting next to me, mumbled, So this actress might look different without her makeup. Her voice was so low that I even had a hard time catching it. Seriously? I was really irritated. But if I started yelling at her, everyone else would have thought I went crazy. So I tried to keep calm. From then on, her attitude toward me changed completely. To begin with, she stopped calling me darling or sweetie and just used my name. Furthermore, she even stopped calling my name and just you in the end. How lucky Eddie is to have such a lovely wife, she used to say, but she started looking down at me. It was as if she was saying I was a fraud and cheating on everyone. Right after I got married, I gave her a collection of skincare products from my work for her birthday. I remembered she once asked me, Your skin looks so silky, what do you use? It was quite a high value gift, but I was happy to see her delighted face. I assumed it was because of the incident, but I received a box from her one day. There was a short message of, I don't need them inside the box along with the products I had given to her. I felt a stub in my chest. Each bottle was half empty, which showed she had been using them until recently. I didn't imagine that she had hated me so much and became depressed that Eddie sensed something was up. I've been wondering if there was something between you and my mom. 
I almost told him everything, but I was too ashamed to say that Shelly hated me because I was ugly. She and I used to be so close and went shopping or grabbed lunch together, but since that Christmas, we hadn't gotten in touch. Eddie and his family noticed the sudden change and were worried. I didn't want to be the cause of breaking their harmonious relationship, so I just said, I am overwhelmed with work right now, I can't join you, but why don't you go and see them, they'll be happy. I smiled at him. After that, I saw her once during Easter and had never gone back to her house. She pretended everything was normal, but as soon as we were alone, she stopped talking to me. Just let her be. I still have Eddie. She dislikes me, and that's that. As I was busy living my life, Christmas time approached again. Not knowing anything, Eddie said, I want to spend the holiday with my parents again. Is that okay with you? He asked innocently with a smile, to which I could only nod in agreement. When we arrived at his parents' house, Kim was already there. When we gathered around the table, we must look like a perfectly happy family from the outside. In truth, the mother-in-law and the daughter-in-law had a fallout. It was what it was. I took a shower late at night so that I didn't need to see Shelly without makeup. On the day after Christmas, I'm gonna make some lunch. Can you help me, Nancy? I wasn't called by my name long in a while, so I got excited. Can you help with mac and cheese? She pulled out boxes in front of me. I am sick of cooking after all that for Christmas, so let's take it easy today. We'll make it fancy with shredded cheese on top later. I nodded in agreement. I started boiling water in the pot and was reading the instruction on the boxes. I gasped when I opened one of them. Hey, Shelly, this one is different from the other. The box had a vintage look, and the illustration was different too. When I looked inside closely, the pasta was the same as the other. But there seemed to be a thin layer of white cotton-like film. Could this be mold? When I stared at it with a dubious look, she said, Oh, you don't know? This is the expensive one with a truffle. I haven't been nice to you, so I got it just for you as my apology. I'm gonna go lay down a bit so I leave the rest to you. She walked out of the kitchen. Expensive one. Lunch is ready. I cheerfully put down bowls of mac and cheese on the table. Shelly, who was sitting next to me, asked. You haven't mixed it up with others, right? Whispered into my ear. Of course not. I muttered likewise. Let's eat. While everyone dived in, she was giving me a side glance. She seemed to be astounded by the way I was enjoying my bowl of mac and cheese. I whispered to Shelly who was eating her bowl with a puzzled expression. Hey Shelly, what? She looked at me with annoyance. That's the expensive one you told me about earlier. Is it really good? I intentionally asked with an innocent tone. As soon as I finished, Shelly made a gagging sound and passed out. Everyone else was dumbfounded. Was it a little too much? But, honey, wake up! Eddie's dad shook her shoulders with teary eyes. Actually, I told them the whole story. Shelly was out for a few minutes. When she woke up, she was dazed for a while, and then dashed to the bathroom. After we heard gasping sounds, we saw her staggering back to the dining room. You, Nancy! What? 
She was astonished when she saw the box of mac and cheese that was still filled with pasta on the table. Of course, I put it there. You lied to me. Of course, this expired eight years ago. Who would believe this is an expensive truffle? She kept quiet to my rage. I served her the same mac and cheese as the rest. Of course, it wasn't expired. She totally believed it was the other one when I asked. What a fool! What were you thinking? You were gonna feed her this? Eddie's dad glared at her. I was hoping that you and Nancy can make up this time. Maybe we shouldn't have come. Sorry, honey. As if it was his fault, Eddie looked on the verge of tears. Say something. What were you gonna do if Nancy got really sick? It could have been a serious problem. Kim worked as a nurse, so she took care of Shelley when she passed out. As she mentioned, if I had really eaten that, I was horrified just thinking about it. Shelley started crying and missed all the blame. I was just shocked by Nancy's face. She looked so bland. We were all baffled by her excuse. What's up with my bland face? It's outrageous to be killed just because of it. She wept quietly and started talking. I've been made to feel bad about my face, even though I'm not mad. People ask me if I was. In fact, she had a strong feature. But if you talk to her, you would find her funny, and she had a beautiful smile. My late mother-in-law criticized my face all the time. She even said it would be a shame if my child looked like me. I was surprised to hear what she was told were the exact words she used with me. I thought you guys got along. She shook her head to her husband. I couldn't tell anyone, even though I was picked on. I wanted to keep peace with the family. When she saw me without makeup, her bad memories came back to her. She thought, "What if my baby skipped a generation and took her features, and slipped her mouth to say such a nasty thing?" It wasn't just a slip, but she went too far. Did your mother-in-law treat Eddie and Kim badly? She shook her head vigorously, as to say never, and started wailing. She was very kind to them. Eddie and Kim looked more like their dad. They both got those big eyes, but their nose and mouth surely had traces of Shelley. Besides, whoever they looked like, your kids should be loved. See, it turned out all good. I hope you realize it one day. She was bawling. I was really happy to have a kind mother-in-law. I grew up having somewhat cold parents. I finally understood the meaning of a true family and felt the warmth of being a part of it. As I spoke, tears started rolling down my cheeks. I couldn't say more, but just watched her cry and apologize to me. Eddie and I stopped visiting his parents after that. She kept apologizing, but I wasn't ready to let go and move on yet. As for Shelley, I am too ashamed to go and see Nancy anymore. She told her family. Eddie and I returned home right after that. But Eddie's dad and Kim supposedly scolded her afterward. She even told her husband, "Please divorce me." In the end, she had been undoubtedly a beloved member of the family, and her husband regretted he had put all the responsibilities in regards to family matters on her shoulders in the past. He came to realize that when he retired. And he had been more attentive to Shelley since then. They went for a walk in the park and took short trips together to make up for the lost time.
Eddie and Kim rolled their eyes at the bout, but they must be relieved that their parents didn't decide on a divorce. As for Eddie and me, we kept busy with work, but we were still so much in love and spent happy days together. Two years after the incident, I gave birth to a healthy girl. It took a while for me to conceive, and I had to deal with painful injections. Eddie and I had a few quarrels over pregnancy as well. The morning sickness was severe that I was bound to bed all day sometimes. But all these negative things just flew out the window as soon as I held my daughter in my arms. A few days after the delivery, Eddie's family came to see us. So cute! I'm your auntie. Oh, how adorable! I'm your grandpa. Both Eddie's dad and Kim were immediately head over heels. There was one more person at the door. Honey, what are you doing? Don't just stand there and come and meet the baby. Hi, Nancy. Congratulations. You did well. Shelley walked into the room with an awkward and apologetic expression. Please, Shelley, you can hold her. Her name is Beatrice. It means one who brings happiness. We call her Birdie. Eddie and I hope she spreads happiness to everyone. Shelley picked her up with a big smile on her face. Sweet Birdie, your eyes are like Eddie's, and your nose, mouth, and ears are like Nancy's. You're white as snow. I can't apologize enough for things I've done to you, Nancy. I'm such an idiot. I am really sorry. Tears started rolling down her cheeks, and my eyes too were watering. I knew then we could start over and build a stronger relationship.